Welcome to the Landscape Library's YouTube channel. I'm Jordan, founder of the Landscape Library and voice behind the tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and visit our website, thelandscapelibrary.com, to read landscape-focused articles or enroll in our online courses teaching the top softwares for landscape design. If you have questions or comments, add them below and enjoy the video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use interpret curve in Rhino. But before I show you how to use the command in Rhino, I first want to show you basically what it's doing. So if you remember maybe from school, um, the graphs of quadratic functions, you're essentially creating um, points along the graph and a line is connecting in between. And what this does is in Rhino, you're also going to lay out points and the, the command is just going to follow the point and create a parabolic curve. And I kind of relate this um, sort of line work to the famous landscape architect, Roberto Marx. Uh, so if you could see here on the top view of his landscape plan, this just a very maybe fun sort of natural style bedline. That is not essentially a perfect curve or um, a circle. You can see also just through his um, line of work that it's it's sort of like a natural sketch. Another instance that I refer this to is Pete Udall. So you can see here that in his landscape plans, these are all different types of plants that he's proposing in between these walkways. And he's laying out these just kind of natural bed lines here with these unique shapes. So to do that in, in Rhino, we're going to type in interpret curve. And actually Rhino cuts off interpret. It's just technically called interp curve. We're going to select the top one. And um, with this command, I normally don't change um, any of these. So just like I said about the graph of quadratic functions, we're essentially going to create uh, points within Rhino and then a line is going to follow that. So you can select um, whichever points you want in the program, but you can see here how it becomes, you know, kind of a fun shape. And to exit out of the command, you can right click and you now have like an open line. Or um, if I hit right click to repeat the command, you can also create um, closed shapes. So what's nice about this one is it's, I kind of refer to this command as like creating pebbles or blobs or potatoes in Rhino. So to create maybe like a, a pebble sort of shape, we're going to create um, a shape based off three points. So we're going to have 1.2.3 point, point, and then we're going to finish the command and it kind of acts as just this really soft pebble. Um, sometimes I create, you know, put some trees in here and then some shrubs. Um, another one is of one through four points. So if we start with the one point and kind of create this box here, you can see here that this is more of like a potato shape or a blob. So this is one of my favorite commands in Rhino. I typically use this when it comes to bed lines or if you wanted maybe some sort of like soft stone appearance, like an actual like scaled up pebble, maybe they're walking stones, this would be the command to use.